Hi guys, I've made a couple of user scripts that will help you track your progress towards the All Years and No Stone Unturned achievements on Path of Exile uh, using the normal wiki site. So I'm just going to take you through how to install those, give you a demo of how they work and go from there. So what you want to do first is use Firefox or Google Chrome and get something that will let you run user scripts. So in this case I'm going to show you how to install Tamper Monkey for Chrome but equally you could use Grease Monkey on Firefox. So if I go and find the Tamper Monkey plugin and just add it to Chrome, confirm, that's it installed. Now I want to go to my GitHub site, and I'll put the link to this in the video. And here we've got links to two different scripts. If we scroll down a little bit to the installation instructions, the second bullet point here, I can click on these links. So if I install the all years one first, just click on it. Tamper Monkey knows you're installing a user script. You just click install. Easy peasy. Same for the second one, no stone unturned. Install. Lovely. So now if I visit the wiki and have a look at the all years, what we should see is that after a wee second, why is that not working? Tool access. Ah, there we go. So what we've got here is uh, a little box in the top left now that stays there when you scroll down. And if you can see, all the tasks now have been highlighted. You're noticing different icons um, where you've got a little chevron point to the right. It shows you that you've got a, a special order before you can complete this task. It's just to warn you because it's quite easy to muck it up. And if, as you go through this, you just click on each of the numbers. You can see a wee tick box appear beside them when they've been completed. And if you note, know, the number in the top left there is increasing as they go. Now, I've enabled colorblind mode by default, which puts these ticks beside it. But if you don't want them, just untick it. And you've just got normal red and green coloring to show you what's happening. You can toggle it on and off. And when you refresh the page, all your progress will be there. So you can close the browser, shut down your PC, come back later. And you can see we've still got these six here. It's pretty similar for No Stone Unturned. If we open that one up. Give it a wee second to load first time. There we go. It's a bit simpler in this one because it's just a normal list. You've got up to 140 tasks here. You can just tick away in any order you fancy. And how I found what I did when I was playing was uh, what I'd do is I'd achieve something in the game, then come back here and tick it and just check that that number, the count there, matches up with the count against the achievement inside the game. So a couple things to note, uh, I failed pretty hard when I tried to do both of these achievements at once. I'd recommend doing them with separate characters. Um, for No Stone Unturned, it's quite simple, you just go through them one by one. Um, the only really gotcha is I think when you're doing an Act 3 library. Uh, where are they? Yes. So these guys here, all these ones mark the library. It's an RNG game, so you've just got to keep loading the library again and again. It maybe took half an hour, it was pretty dull but I think all the rest were pretty simple and straightforward. Oh yeah, the other thing at the end, when you're doing the Val areas, you don't have to run the Val areas um, when you're looking for specific uh, lines here. What you do, if you click into this Val area page, each of the, um, the texts on the right here correspond to a different named area, like Abandoned Dam, Ancient Catacomb. Once you put the fragment in and opened it, you can just look at the name above the portal. If it's not one that you need, just put in another fragment and re-roll it. That'll save you some time. You don't have to run the ones you've already run. For the all years, there's a few more gotchas. Um, like I kind of alluded to before, there's a certain order to do things in. So I've mucked up mine a couple of times before I had this tracker because um, you sometimes have to do something counterintuitive, like half finish a quest state, go back to town, speak to them, then continue on. That's what these do not things here mean as they picked out. The other gotcha, which is a biggie, um, which definitely mucked up my run a couple times, is sometimes the guide skips a bit. So you see here between Act 1 and Act 2, we're going from number 41 to 46. That means 42 to 45 are somewhere out of order. And I think if we scroll them down, we can see... Oh, oh I know where they'll be. They'll be right at the bottom, because they'll be uh, the prophecy tasks. Where are we? Here we go, for the valley. 42 to 43 are down here. So any time that the guide skips and jumps, I put in a wee asterisk just after the number there so that you know you can't just follow it blindly and ruin your run. Cool. That's all I was going to show you. Catch you guys later.